In this episode of The Road Chose Me, I'm exploring the mountain region of Togo. Togo has a mountainous area over by the border with Ghana, and I've been told repeatedly that I need to get over for a visit. So I go exploring. I've been trying to catch a street market on film for a while. I'll let you enjoy this one. This is in Kaplame, the center of the mountain region. From there, the little mountain tracks wind on and on, and I keep picking the smallest one I can find on my GPS and just seeing where it takes me. I'm in the mountains here in Togo on the border of Ghana, and it just started thumping rain. It's not supposed to be raining at this time of year. And the Jeep currently says it's 93 degrees outside, about 35, and there is hail falling on the Jeep. This is the craziest little weather thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, It just came in really, really fast, like three minutes. And uh, now it's dumping rain. (laughs) And this little mountain track here, it winds along and it follows the border here of Ghana and Togo. And uh, it's a cool little road, but now there's rain. Yeah, you can see the hail there on the hood. You can see it bounce off every now and again. There's not much of it, but it's definitely hailing. Whoa, it is also seriously windy. Check this out. Well, I don't know where this storm came from, just coming through a little village here. But check this out. All of a sudden, it's like monsoon, but uh, this is supposed to be the season of zero rain, zero monsoon. Uh, so I don't actually know why this is happening. But uh, yeah, this track could get interesting here in the next half an hour. I'll see what happens. As I've come to learn, the roads here do a really good job of soaking up the rain. And in no time at all, it's all gone. There's no mud, there's no slickness. It's actually no problem at all. So I'm out here roaming around the mountains in Togo. I'm uh, headed towards the border of Ghana, slowly climbing up, trying to get to a big waterfall that I've heard about. And uh, I've just come across this bridge. So kind of this old steel bridge and Here's the Jeep. If we come and have a look, things are a little bit sketchy. So there's this big steel plate covering a hole, which it's gonna move, but I think it's all right. Come over this way, things are starting to get bad. So there's there's a hole here, kind of has these bits of wood over it, but they're only just holding on here. So I think I want one wheel over here as hard as I can, and the other one will be off the edge. It should be all right. And then we get to the real problem. I don't really know. This does not look good at all. I mean, these boards, I can move them around, but they will just be a gap somewhere else. Um, so I'm kind of thinking tires over here where my feet are right now, and the other tire is going to be over there on the boards. Um, and then it's okay here towards the end, kind of more of the same, but someone's done a better job here. This is, this is good and solid. I think I'm okay to drive on this. So my problem is right here. I don't love this at all. I mean, even if I put a tire way over here, my other tire is still here somewhere on this. And I mean, look at this crap. I can see tire tracks. I can see trucks have driven on this, but I'm not loving it. I just saw some kids have shown up. Maybe I'll ask them and see if they uh, give me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Le pont, c'est bon pour les voitures? Ou c'est pas bon? Que pensez-vous? C'est bon c'est pas bon? Les, les pontes. Pas français? Vous, vous parlez français, non? Non? Ah, ok. Uh, bon ou pas bon? Bon? Les voitures? C'est pas bon. Ah, uh, cruz, pas cruz, pont. Euh... No. Okay, merci. So I think those kids didn't really speak French. 
Um, looking on the ground now, I'm actually not seeing tire tracks of anything very big. These all just look like uh, donkey carts to me, maybe motorbikes. So now that I've had a better look at it, I'm kind of having second thoughts. Uh, if I screw this up, I'm in big trouble. And <laughs> that's a that's a pretty big hole right there that we're looking at, straight down through the bridge. Uh, I would love to keep going. This road's been amazing. Um, I just don't see the point. I'll think about it some more. So I ended up using my brain and I turned around. Happily, I wound up at this bridge, which was really amazing. As you can see, no problem whatsoever with strength on this thing. After a bit of route finding and a bit of stumbling around, I end up finding the main highway that has replaced the road I was just on. What do you know? An amazing tarmac road straight up and over the mountains. Hmm. As I've come to learn in West Africa, a lot of things have been replaced by really good roads. Togo is only small, but it sure packs a lot. I've really enjoyed my time here.